This image isn't moving and neither is this one. You can even pause the screen right now to check. In this video, I'll show you some mind-blowing optical illusions and explain how they're tricking your brain. I've been an optical engineer for over a decade, which is all about manipulating light. Our brains are little supercomputers, but they rely on some shortcuts in order to quickly process all the information our eyes bring in. Optical illusions take advantage of those shortcuts to trick us. Like for this one that seems like it's moving, but it's not. Our brains perceive lighter areas of the image faster than darker areas. Then that makes it seem like things are moving or rotating towards the light areas because we're spotting those first. But this only happens in your peripheral vision where you're not really paying as close attention. But if you focus on a single spot, that spot should stop moving for you while the surrounding areas away from what you're looking at move. This same effect happens because of your brain processing patterns of different densities at different speeds too. Oh, this one is fun. Doesn't it look like the left bridge is straight while the right one is leaning to the right? Both sides are actually the exact same picture. Our brains have learned that things further away from us tend to converge to a common point. So when the objects aren't converging like that, our brain assumes that they must be pointing at different directions. And we judge this based on the middle area between the two images. The right image has an angle in the middle area, so we assume that it's leaning to the right, even though the left image has that same exact angle on the left side of it. For this one, focus on the small dot on the left. What direction is the object on the right moving? It might look like it's moving diagonally, but it's actually just moving up and down. Now look at the thing on the right to check that. This is similar to that first illusion in that our brains recognize the lighter areas before the darker areas, making it seem like things are moving from dark to light. I've liked these ones since I was little. Which of the numbered squares do you think is darker? One or two? They're actually the same exact color. But our brains don't actually objectively analyze every point of what we're looking at. We compare a spot to its immediate surroundings to make snap decisions about it. So while the two squares are really the same color, our brains are judging them based on how they compare to the squares around them, making one look lighter and two look darker. Okay, this one is a little similar. Which dot is bigger, the one on the left or the right? Again, they're actually the same exact size. It's similar to that last illusion in that our brains evaluate things based on how they're compared to what's right around them. Because the left dot is tiny compared to its surroundings, we think that it's smaller than it really is. And because the right one is big compared to its surroundings, we think that it's bigger. And this is one of those classic illusions that I saw all the time growing up. When you move your eyes around this, it looks like there are dark dots at the intersections of the white lines. But then if you focus anywhere in particular, the dots there disappear. This one is more about the anatomy of your eyes as opposed to weird tricks in your brain. The cells in your retinas adjust the brightness detected based on, again, what's around them. This lets you see a wider range of both dark and bright details. The center of your retina, also called the fovea, has the densest concentration of photoreceptors and has a higher resolution than your peripheral vision. So when you look at a particular intersection on this grid, your resolution there is the highest, and your retina doesn't do as much brightness adjustment there. In the area in this green circle, the light and dark areas are balanced out, so no brightness adjustment is needed. But in the intersections further away, like the one in this red circle, more of the surroundings are white, and you just have less information because of the lower resolution away from the center of your vision. So your retina cells do more of that white balancing, and the black and white sections are averaged, making you perceive imaginary gray dots on the intersections. Another classic one. Which of these two lines do you think is longer? Again, they're the same size. This is another example of your brain evaluating something based on its immediate surroundings, not objectively comparing things further away from each other. You can have a lot of different versions of this illusion. Time for the last illusion. What are the color of the eyes of this bobcat? While the left one may look blue, it's actually the exact same shade of gray as the right eye. You'll see a common theme here, but your brain perceives the color of something relative to its immediate surroundings. So the red around the left eye makes us perceive an eye color that lacks red, which ends up looking blue. 
Our brains are insanely good at quickly processing all the things around us, but they rely on these shortcuts in order to do that. We're not really seeing reality, but our brain's perception of reality. 